Articoli Liberi è un'associazione culturale con sede a Nizza, in Francia, nata con lo scopo di diffondere libri in varie lingue tra bambini e ragazzi, soprattutto in paesi dove l'accesso alla cultura e all'istruzione è più difficile. Questo spazio servirà a raccontarvi qualcosa in più della nostra attività, vi parleremo dei nostri libri, dei nostri viaggi e vi porteremo con noi negli incontri con i bambini a cui regaliamo Nice Books. Articolo Liberi is a multilingual project. We are a non-profit organization based in the south of France. We create and distribute free books, mostly to children from poor areas. In fact, we believe that young people from any country should have free access to education. We have no political nor commercial aims. The only purpose is to pass down the importance of reading to the new generation. Hi everybody and welcome again. And thank you so much to Sensa Barcode, which is hosting us on their channel. I'm Frank Iodic, I'm an Italian writer, and I'm going to tell you something more about Articoli Liberi, what we are and what we do. So everything started six years ago, when I left for Montevideo with no money in my pocket, just with a backpack, and an idea in my mind. I wrote a text based on my experience in South America and about the encounter with the poor president Pepe Mujica. So the result of this experience was a story titled Beef Dialogue on Happiness. After six months I came back to Europe and I went around French and Italian high schools with my trunk full of this little uh, pamphlet. My objective was to deliver to the students a message of freedom, rebellion, a love for our time, and something in particular that I learned from the poor president himself, the capacity to question oneself, which is the beginning of any revolution. Then in a later time I've been also presenting at Florida State University and Augusta University, along with other academic conferences. But the experience which impressed on me the real sense of my mission was that period amid children from Uruguayan countries. For this reason, we decided to, ded to dedicate our work to the young. In fact, imagine people reached me and told me that my dream could be the dream of someone else. And this is how we created Articoli Liberi. So now we are a team, we structured this project, we created our own, our own website, our official logo, our own style. So in a few words, what we do is publishing books, but not only. We would like to involve other publishing houses and create a more expanded circuit of donations. We would like to create a channel through the US, Europe and South America. And other publishing houses could consider giving us all of those copies which are wasted or just unsold. We would use them to donate to children um, which could not afford. And you will receive in exchange lots of smiles, happiness and gratitude. For example, recently I've been talking to some great people from Honduras and Costa Rica. Specifically, I had a chat with two or three organizations which believe like us um, in, equality, in, edu in equality in education. For example, Monique Turner Lopez. Monique is the person in charge for an organization named BECA, Bilingual Education for Central America. In short, they take care of several schools in Honduras and, and offer a service of free courses thanks to the help of volunteers, educators, and so on. So when I found out Becca just on, on, on internet, I just told to myself, uh, we could ship our books in English and Spanish editions to them. So I picked up the phone and I just called. And Monique was so happy for our offer and they accepted our donation. We just had to decide some technical details like the shipping address, the quantity of books, the quantity of children, number of students, and that's it. So anyway, we will post and share pictures and more information about this project once it will be started. Now I want to introduce you um, Dr. Giada Biasetti. She will tell you more about this, El Mistero de Santa Caterina, uh, which was published in collaboration with Augusta University, um, and something more about the encounters with the students from the, uh, from the high schools. But first, I want to confess you something. You know, in my life, almost everybody, almost everything, let me down in somehow. Not everything but books. So what we offer, when we offer a book, is not only the experience of reading, not the capacity to elaborate and expose your own thoughts, which is a consequence, almost a mechanical consequence of reading. Now, what we offer is hope, joy for life, trust in human being, believing in a change. So this is what we call in one word or in two words, Nice books. And now, Giada, you have the floor. 
Hello everyone, or as they say here in the South, hello y'all. As Frank mentioned, I'm here to talk to you about a project that's very dear to my heart. This project was something that was made possible by Articoli Liberi, so I am very grateful for their help, their support, and their collaboration. It all started last semester during the spring in, in three of my classes. I was teaching three advanced Spanish classes. They were Introduction to Spanish and English Translation, Introduction to Spanish and English Interpretation, and Spanish Composition. Every semester, I try to incorporate a project that gives students a lifelong learning experience and something that is also resume worthy. For the first time ever, I decided to combine my three classes into one semester long project. My two translation classes were in charge of translating a chapter or so, or some fragments of other chapters of Frank Jodic's novel that was originally written in Italian and then translated into English. And now my students were um, translating it into Spanish. We decided to select chapters that focused on specific characters from the book to give it some continuity. My students worked in groups and delivered various drafts of the translations. Uh, we had several writing workshops where they were uh, also peer edited um, and they also got to work with the author himself remotely. They worked with him in order to make sure that they were being faithful to the original and that the author was happy with their translation. My other Spanish composition class, on the other hand, um, they were asked to write their own creative story based on what they had learned during Writer's Weekend, which is an event here at Augusta University that includes presentations from well-known local and also international authors, and they also include workshops for creative writing. Everything was combined in one book entitled El Misterio de Santa Caterina. The cover art was done by Fernando Covello, a Venezuelan illustrator who resides in Italy. And once this book was reviewed, accepted, and published by Articoli Liberi, it was presented at various schools in Georgia and South Carolina, and many free copies were distributed to the students there. Because this project was so successful, I am currently working on another project with my translation students this semester that will include the translation of creative work written by three authors here at Augusta University that work in the Department of English and Foreign Languages in the Creative Writing Program. Their names are Anna Harris Parker, Jim Minnick, and Spencer Wise. I will tell you more about this project at a later time. Um, I am very excited to be working with Articoli Liberi again. And I just want to end by saying that Articoli Liberi will send El Misterio de Santa Caterina, along with other books, including the current one we're working on, to NGOs such as Abriendo Mentes in Costa Rica to inaugurate the opening of the new community library for the young and for members of the community. I am very, very, very proud of being a part of these, these ongoing projects and contributing to Articoli Liberi's remarkable mission. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Dr. Giada Biasetti from Augusta University in Georgia. I would like to invite you all to look through our website, www.articolilibri.com, or join us on Instagram, or just write at contact at articolilibri.com for any idea, suggestion, or support you might want to give to our project. This is a small project, you know, probably a few of us won't change the world. But I believe that books alone do change the world. Articoli Liberi è un'associazione culturale con sede a Nizza, in Francia, nata con lo scopo di diffondere libri in varie lingue tra bambini e ragazzi, soprattutto in paesi dove l'accesso alla cultura e all'istruzione è più difficile. Questo spazio servirà a raccontarvi qualcosa in più della nostra attività, vi parleremo dei nostri libri, dei nostri viaggi e vi porteremo con noi negli incontri con i bambini a cui regaliamo Nice Books.